Let's take a look at this first order low pass filter transfer function. It's made up of a voltage divider between a resistance and a capacitive impedance. We're using phasor analysis here, so we're going to replace the capacitor value C with an impedance of 1 over J omega C. Then we do a uh, voltage divider equation, and we end up with this expression right here for V out, which can be simplified to this expression by multiplying top and bottom by J omega C. And we can make this expression simpler. Make it instead of a, ver a function of three variables, we could make this a function of now uh, two variables, omega and omega zero, by letting one over RC become omega zero. When we make that uh, substitution, we end up with this expression right here, which when we put it into polar form becomes this right here. Then we can separate out the uh, um, magnitude part right here and the phase angle part right here. And what I'd like to do is investigate those two functions right there as a function of omega and omega zero we want to make some Bode plots. So we're going to plot uh, on the x-axis log of omega and we're going to make two of them. The first of them will be the amplitude uh, or transfer function magnitude uh, plot which will be uh, V out over V in magnitude in decibels. And then on the second plot we're going to plot uh, the uh, x-axis as log of omega again but we're going to plot this um, angle of V out over V in, which is the arctangent of omega over omega zero. Let's see what that looks like. Now, what I'd like to do is take this, um, this expression for uh, the magnitude of V out over V in and make an, uh, put it in decibels. So to do that, we take 20 log of V out over V in which, if you simplify it down, becomes this expression on the bottom here, where the 20 became a 10 because of the square root up here. And the negative sign right here came because the square root of the thing is in the bottom, and now this is uh, just uh, inside the parentheses of the log there. And we can further simplify this expression for the magnitude right here by looking at what happens to this term in the uh, logarithm uh, when omega is much, much larger than omega zero or when omega is much, much less than omega zero. Let's start out when omega is very small compared to omega zero. So if you do that, you end up with uh, approximately ten, minus 10 log of one because one is much larger than omega over omega zero squared. So in this case, we can say we would get 0 dB. And uh, that means essentially it's, uh, it's not uh, filtering anything out. So for omega less than omega 0, it's not filtering anything. Now if we go up to the other uh, end of things where omega is much larger than omega 0, then this 1 doesn't really matter. It's, it's very insignificant compared to this term over here. And then you can bring the 2 out front, and it becomes minus 20. And we've got log of the, the quotient, which is uh, the difference of the logs. And so this is the approximation for omega much, much greater than omega 0. Let's try and plot this and see what it would look like. So over here I have V out over V in magnitude in decibels. Here's 0 dB right up at the top. And when omega is much, much less than omega 0, that's this line over here. Now when omega is much, much larger than omega 0, you can see that this expression is essentially linear in terms of log of omega. See, log of omega is like x. That's what the x-axis is here. And it's coming down with a slope of uh, minus 20 dB per, per every decade. And a decade is every time this log of omega um, increments. So what we did was we made a straight line here and a straight line there. And we just kind of filled them in uh, smoothly between them. 
So we got a pretty good idea what the transfer function is going on here, and you can see that over here for omega much larger than omega zero, it's certainly attenuating the output. The output is, is many dB down uh, compared to the input. Now let's look at the phase plot. Here's the phase expression up here. It's minus the arctangent of omega over omega zero. So you can see what, what's happening here is omega, um, is omega is very small, this is the arctangent of a very small number, which is arctangent of something small is very close to zero. So for omega much, much less than omega zero, this guy looks like a line uh, basically at uh, minus zero, minus zero degrees. Then when omega is much, much larger than omega zero, um, this guy right here is going to asymptotically approach 90 degrees because arctangent of infinity is 90. And, uh, you know, when you get anywhere out there where omega is much, much larger than omega zero, you know, if omega is 10 times or 100 times or 1,000 times larger than omega zero, and remember we're plotting this on a log scale, um, it's going to uh, be pretty close to ni uh, minus 90 degrees. The minus occurs because of the minus over here, of course. Let's uh, look at a plot of that. We'll plot it on the on a graph right underneath uh, and at the same scale on the on the uh, uh, x-axis as uh, we did for the magnitude. And if you look at here, right when omega equals omega zero, it's going to be 45 degrees because arctangent of of one is 45, and then minus that is minus 45 degrees. So we've got uh, kind of an idea approximately what the phase looks like over here.